Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Auto's HQ. Today guys, it's Saturday morning and I promised you all a new project video. So that's what we'll be doing today. I'll show you exactly what we've got um, and what the damage is, what it's all about. Um, we'll have a walk around it and um, might be able to get that out of the way, Fiesta. If I can get the wheels back on, roll that out of the way and then get the car on the ramp and then we can have a good look at it. So, um, yeah, let me <clears throat> let me have a sort out in here because it's a bit, still a bit messy and stuff everywhere. Not everywhere, but there's stuff, bits and pieces. I'd like to be a bit more tidier. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, let me have a quick sort out, uh, 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 you know, um, bits and pieces in here, and then we will get into the new project. But before I do, guys, just want to say thanks for all the comments on last night's video on that Fiesta. Um, I think we all agree that that engine is completely at it. It's, it's gone, it's shot, you know what I mean? And that's why I already bought another engine and it's on its way. Hopefully it should be here Monday, Tuesday, and then we could just crack on with it, just get it all you know, back together. You, you see all the bits and pieces I've got for the car, which is here. New clutch, timing belt kit, just everything. The whole car's been done. So yeah. Just want to say thanks for the comments, guys. I uh, really appreciate the support. Um, uh, and everyone was, you know, everyone was agreeing, really, that it's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some more tests on this engine and then on, on the head. Don't get me wrong, I am. I'm not just going to leave it like that and I'm going to throw it out the door or, or scrap it or whatever. I will be doing more tests to see if I can work out what it's all about. Um, and even, even, even if I can sort of rebuild it um, and put it all back together and then someone's got to... A running engine because it's only done 58,000 miles so it should be good you know I'll change the head gasket just whatever you know we'll just get into it we'll find out like we'll look I'll do a little bit more digging but that's that's further down the line later on let's just forget about that for the moment um, and then let's get the engine in this Fiesta and all swapped over get it running um, <clears throat> but yeah so guys let's get into the new project I'll show you what I've got we'll have a walk around and we'll get into it Let's do this. Right, okay guys, so the new project is just here. So let's get into it. I'll show you exactly what I've got. Um, we'll have a look around the car um, and yeah, we'll just get into it and we'll have a look at the damage. I'll put it onto the ramp as well because I've moved the Fiesta. We can put it on the ramp. We can really get stuck into it. Let's have a look what I've got. It is a Hyundai. <clears throat> so, this is a Hyundai iX20. So, I've not done an i20 or an iX20. I've done an i30 on the channel before, but not an iX20. Um, and <sighs> I've got to be honest, this is probably one of the best cars I have ever bought all round the whole package that comes with this car what you know what it actually is um <clears throat> it's just a little fantastic little car i'd say little because it's an i20 but it's an ix20 which basically means it's got like a it's, it's lifted a little bit it's a little bit bigger it's like a mpv you know it's not quite an suv but it's an mpv like a little yeah <clears throat> it's got quite a lot of space in this car and it's the blue version um, so yeah, you've got reversing sensors at the back, massive boot, this, this car's got a massive, massive boot, bro. so yeah, so, <laughs> are you already thinking, hold on a minute, where's the damage, is that what you're thinking? Where, where, hold on, where, where's the damage? Because that's exactly what I was thinking when I was looking in the pictures um, on the auction. I was going all through it thinking, what, hold on, <laughs> where, why has this car been written off? Obviously, it's a 2012, um, so it's a little bit older. <clears throat> so, you know, the insurance companies um, just write things off for the absolute most stupidest things these days um so this corner is where the damage is 
there, which is just bumper scuffs, which will all come out. That don't have to be repainted or rechanged. That will all come out. That will just, look, I'm wiping it off with my finger. So that there and this wheel. So I don't know if you can see it, We've definitely got some sort of issue with suspension on this side, on the corner. So, yeah, this was the reason why they wrote it off. was because of, mainly because of this wheel and this suspension corner. Um, the gaps is too small, big gap at this end. That should be central to the wheel arch. So, yes, that's, what, that's where we're looking at. Um, <clears throat> we will get into that in a bit. I just want to show you the rest of the car and... Um, then we'll get into doing this. I'll take it back onto the ramp and then we'll take it up in the air and then we'll have a good look at that in a second. But I just want to show you the, the rest of the car because it's just in a fantastic condition, I'm telling you. It's, you know, I'm seeing the odd scuff, but I'm not seeing no scratches or no sort of, oh, that's a scuff which will come out with a polisher. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not, I'm not seeing no dents, nothing, honestly, around this car. It's dirty, like filthy. In, the inside's not that bad, actually, but the outside's proper filthy. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, let's have a look inside. Hold on, guys, someone coming to the door. No, is he coming to the door? No, he's not coming to the door. <laughs> let's continue. Uh, let's have a look inside. So... Yeah, here we go. So this car come with two keys as well. One of them, that one is not not used whatsoever. It's more or less brand new. You can see that it's a bit dirty on the back, but it's a it's more or less a brand new key. So yeah, you can see that that's how, that's how they come like that. So two keys, um, and it's just a lovely, lovely car inside. It's got all the stuff in here air con um steering controls uh, bluetooth uh, bluetooth phone connection so you connect your phone to it answering calls and stuff hasn't got cruise control if i can remember right now it hasn't got cruise control um it's got park assist which i think is obviously the reversing sensors at the back um stop start as well uh, hill 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 control as well so it stops when i was taking it back off the trailer it was holding itself i was thinking come on let go let go let go. then it will let go and then i'll press the brake again and it will hold itself and then i was like come on let go let go <laughs> so, until i get it off but let me just start it up because just <clears throat> i love the dials the blue dials in these in these high on dies the um the i30 that I did as well, that had exactly the same thing uh, with these blue dials. Um, so, yeah, let's, I'll show you the mileage. 65, 350 miles. And a full tank of fuel. A full tank of fuel. The company that I use um, to get these salvage cars, they've never, ever <coughs> taken fuel out of a car that I've got. If, if on the pictures on the listing if you can see a full tank of fuel you will get a full tank of fuel whatever's in them pictures um because uh, they can't um it's oh let's have a look if it's a cd actually i'm not checking to see if there's a cd in here oh yes we have a cd what is that hold on Who the hell is that? Uh, that's, oh, actually, ain't that Bruce Springsteen? Bruce Springsteen, Spring, Spring, I don't like to say his second name. Bruce uh, Springsteen. <laughs> I don't know, you know what I'm talking about anyway. Um, yeah, free, free CD, so it's pretty cool. I'll leave that there. Um, but yeah. Full tank of fuel as well. Can you, I can't believe that this 
this car just love really really nice interior all the seats are really really nice hardly any dirty on the clean on it at all um the engine's running really nice obviously going to do a service as always guys clean inside and out you can see that it's just filth like they just it just needs a good good valet inside and out you know the seats are just a really really good like the back seats don't even look like they've been used i've got to be honest um these seats as well these move that way as well and you can move you can adjust the top i've never come across a car that you can move the back seats in and out and you can move the tops back and forwards as well to adjust um so yeah the boot is huge look at the size of this boot you've got this partial shelf there you've got this like this lower shelf here and then you've got more compartments there underneath which you can bring this shelf you can take, actually take this shelf down and then underneath that there's a brand new spare wheel never been used all the tools are in there as well uh, even the cargo net the original cargo net that comes with the car <coughs> for the back that's all in there so yeah Massive of space, all the space in that boat, it's loads. Tires are matching both sides. So these two at the back are matching, the ones at the front are matching. And loads and loads of tread, like a serious amount of tread on those tires. I don't know if I can show you. So all tires are like brand new, really. Just needs a good clean up. Um, <clears throat> and we've got to sort, sort that sort that corner out and then just give it, give it a clean in, inside and out, all round. Um, so yeah, just, just like, unbelievable. Um, comes with the booklet and it comes with uh, the locking wheel nut, so as well for the, for the alloys. So we've got that as well, so that's good. Um, I have checked for the service. There is no service <clears throat> book with this one. I think it's all online. So I'll be doing some checks on that as well to see if we can get any online service. But you know, we've got all the manuals here. We've got all the bits and pieces to go with the car. So that's good. Comes with a few bits and pieces. Comes with the, oh, let's not show that because that's uh, someone's address. Comes with the original yeah, it comes with the original lease for the vehicle. Um, just there. Paperwork. So that's that's good. Got all the, you know, a bit of paperwork there. Let's have a look at the engine. It's on the other side, yeah. Not going to take much at all, guys. I've got to be honest with you, I think. When it comes to the suspension, I've got to look at that. But I think it's going to take me longer to clean it inside and out and do my normal thing with the cleaning than it is to do the repairing. There we go, there's the engine. These, I have looked into these, these are, these are the, quite a reliable engine, I've got to be honest with you. I've looked into it. No, nope, that ain't gonna hold, is it? It's weird. Um, and I'm not supposed to go there, is it? It's supposed to go there that's where it's supposed to go that's better yes yeah, so i've looked into these these are supposed to be quite a reliable engine i think they're trying they're chain driven rather than belt um so we don't have to do nothing with the timing belt or the chain because it's you know it'll just keep going on and on and on um obviously not forever but it uh, uh, with, with, with a chain they uh, stretch the linkages they stretch over time, but they do last a lot longer than a belt. So definitely don't need to do anything with that. But I will be doing a service, um, you know, oil change. It's got lovely oil in it, I've got to be honest already. Really nice oil. So someone has been looking after this car. But I still do, I still like to do my own sort of oil changes, air filters and stuff like that. So I'll do all that as well. But, you know... 
1.4 this is so it's a little nice little 1.4 ticking over very very nicely so there we go right that's the car what do you think so far let me know in the comment section below um I, I, there's a little bit of a story with this car as well so basically what happened was um on uh today saturday Friday, thursday so on thursday i was i was looking at this bmw one series and i was bidding on it on thursday um and then it went over the, went over my budget went over what i was prepared to spend on the car uh, and buy it for so i just left it didn't win it i think it, it went for an, another i think it, it carried on going for another six seven hundred pound so i thought nah I'm not, I'm not spending that on it so i left it so i thought do you know what let's have a quick look through the auction um, and this is the this is the, the best thing about sort of doing this in my garage on my own um, and during the day I've got time to do this whereas normal people that've got a day job won't have time to do this um, they just set a budget and then they just leave it to run let me just turn it off because <clears throat> it's loud not because it's <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah so basically what happens I lost the BMW 1 Series, and I thought, you know what, what, let's have a quick look, What's going? what else is going through on the day, that day, and I come across this, and I thought, I'm looking at the pictures thinking, what, why is it, why is it going so cheap, and it was going, it was going cheap, um, I, think the, I think the auction was going at like 600 quid, um, and I was thinking, what, what is going on here, so I managed to watch the auction, and I managed to win it. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. I, I honestly couldn't believe it. I thought, nah, something's, something's, something's definitely, definitely wrong and I've missed something because I don't, I normally watch cars um, a week or two weeks in advance. So that way I can go back to it and keep checking it, keep looking at it, keep checking the pictures, look at the pictures, look over the car. Do you know what I mean? But with this one, it was kind of like I found it on the day and then within 10, 10 minutes, the auction was... It, it was up on the block. It was on the at the auction, starting. So I didn't have a lot of time to do a lot of research and a lot of checking. But I thought for the price, I, I've really got to go for it. And um, yeah, in the end, uh, I won it for like fifteen hundred quid. And I thought absolute bargain. If it's only this corner, this wheel, this suspension, or whatever, and that buffing out on that corner, there's no other replacements to do on the car, and it just needs a clean inside and out absolute bargain this is um yeah so that's the plan that was that was the, the reason why i won this car was because of that and then literally i f i won it on thursday thursday morning at about 12 o'clock and then i called the company about three o'clock like, like just booking in a, uh, an appointment to go and pick it up and I, f I was thinking like monday and they went yeah yeah you come pick up this afternoon I went, what? I mean, yeah, let, come, up, come up this afternoon and pick it up. Because they know me now. Do you know what I mean? They know me. They know what I do. They, they, some of them follow me on the channel. Um, and I can just call up and then I can just turn up and they can, they, they'll fit me in, basically. The drivers know me. Uh, the loaders. It's just, it's just a nice, um, yeah, it's just a nice place to buy cars from. Um, you know, you, once you buy so many of them, they kind of know who you are. And they're like, yeah, yeah, just turn up, it's all right. And they just fit me in, which is really, really nice, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's why it's here, and that's why I picked it up on the day. So there we go, guys. A quick little uh, story on that one. Let's take it back. I'm going to take the car up, maybe take the wheel off as well, and we'll have a look at this suspension and see what's going on with the damage underneath there. But, but that is it. This is the only damage around the car. But what do you think so far? Honestly, what an absolute bargain this car is for someone as well. I've looked book like on, on dealers and stuff like that. I know, like you know, I'm not going to get nowhere near a dealer a dealer price on a forecourt because you know they absolutely skyrocket their prices. Um, um they, they were. They, I'm looking at these. You can have a look yourself. eBay, six grand. And I'm like, no way, no way can they sell these cars for six grand. Um, you know, all people, all, all dealers, and all forecourts have put their prices up so because of what's happening with the second-hand market. But um, I'm not expecting to get anywhere near that at all. Even if I get 
three and a half. Even if I get three and a half grand, I'm happy with that. Someone's getting an absolute bargain of a car, um, little second-hand little car, um, you know, 2012, 1.4, 65,000 miles on the clock. It's going to have uh, a cert. I'm going to do a service on it. MOT, full MOT, no advisories, just absolute bargain of a car, I think. So, yeah, guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Um, let's get it back anyway on the ramp. Um, let's take her up and let's have a look at this damage. Um, I'm hoping there's not going to be a thousand pounds worth of <laughs> damage underneath there and then. All that I've just said is out the window, but <laughs> let's see. Let's take it back. Let's have a look. Let's do this. Righto guys, so um, I think I found our problem with this car. Um, and I'll show you what I have found. And it's relating to the um, subframe itself. Oh, I think it's better if I show you from the front. So from the front here, um, you can see that you've got these two plates here at the back so one there and one here now this bit here on this side is completely flat and round and straight and flat there but when you come over to here it's all been smashed up basically what's happened then that that lower um wishbone here is pushed against that bit of metal and bent that front subframe upwards and then twisting this bolt See that bolt there, it's twisted. So, that's the issue, this back subframe. Um, and that's gotta be, definitely gotta be changed. You can see it there. Not quite sure at the minute when it comes to price or if I can find one. Um, I'm not sure, because this is an unusual car. It's an iX20. So I'm hoping that I can find one on eBay or someone like that or someone that's breaking one of these cars. Something, yeah, something like that. I'm hoping I can find one. Um, and uh, the, the steering rack is connected by four bolts, I believe, two there and two here. These two, these four nut things here is the steering rack. So you just undo that and it, and it comes down. Um, apart from the... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, the... Uh, it's not that bad, actually. Yeah, it should be all right. But that's our issue, guys, is that subframe definitely needs to be changed. There's no way that can stay up there. Look how bent that bolt is, look. It's twisted. You can see it from the... Oh, I can't really get the camera in there, can I? Let me see if I can get the camera in. There. That bolt at the top goes through. It's just bent up and twisted and it shouldn't be like that. So 
that's the issue. Whether or not this lower control arm is bent, I don't know. Probably take it out, lower the subframe, put the second hand subframe back in place, um, then put that um, back in and see if it, you know, straightens up the actual position of the wheel and the steering. If it comes to it, I will change that. But looking at it, and I've had the mechanic look at it quickly as well, uh, run his eye over it, and he's saying as well, that looks straight. Don't seem to think that's the problem. The problem is the subframe. Um, so yeah, that is what we've got to replace. So, it is what it is. Um, not, I don't think they can't be expensive, these ones, can they? It's only a small little subframe, look at it. It's tiny. So yeah, that's our damage, guys. We're gonna have to get into this car once I've found another replacement. Um, discs and pads are really good. You know, it's all in good condition. Loads of tread on the pads. Mm, actually, I wouldn't say loads. I might do them as well. Might do the pads, service, subframe, clean. <laughs> That's kind of it. That is kind of it. That's going to be the car done. Um, but yeah, that's that's where we are, guys. We've found the damage. We know what we've got to do. Um, so we'll get into this another day. I'll put the wheel back on. I'll take it outside until I can find all the parts that we need to get into this car. We'll do this next week. We'll get into it um, and we'll go from there. But for now, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video and the end of this new project for now until next week. So have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Take care.